Hi, buddy. Yep. What up? Uh, Sheen, this is the fourth week that you've brought Toga to show and tell. <laughs> I would I would love to know what makes this Toga so interesting and fun and cool and pog. Okay, Tam. I don't like being attacked as soon as we start the deck dog first of all. For future deck dogs, you know? I've done nothing. I've done nothing. I've just talked so, about... Just this, talked about your really cool I was, I was actually, Toga deck. I'm glad I did this one instead of the other list, because I was actually going to send a Nezure list. It would have been weird to have, you know, back-to-back -back Nezures on stream. Sure. And I, I know crazy that I, if I didn't bring a Toe deck, I would have brought a Nezure deck, right? Yeah, insane. Really out of character for you. <laughs> it is. So yesterday you had a really cool content video uh, stream that I don't think the video is the video out yet. Mm, or, no, or, no, it's did on you YouTube. Not do a video of it. I did do a video. Yeah, this is a I haven't I haven't polished it. But yeah, and it was and there was one point of that stream though that I just it didn't sit right with me, Tam. Mm -hmm. The people here in your community, at least, or of the forty people or so that were voting and watching and participating, sure, seem to think that. Toga 3 is best on Chaos now. Because of Walk the Dog. Because of Walk the Dog and in lesser degree, Rapid Speed Slash. Still a good card. But outside of those two sure. cards, Tam. Yeah. The symbol for Toga 3, it's just not it. It's life. And I want us to reevaluate. Because even though, like you said, I've brought this to show until three times, we're still not on. It still seems to be a debate. Sure. Uh, so here I brought in some critical role stuff. That's what makes it different. Look, I have Storm of Arrows in here. Now I'm a big Storm of Arrows fan. I, I I've been playing the Jester deck. Storm of Arrows is a sick card. <laughs> Card's tight. I also have like Flaming Arrow and stuff. The main questions and stuff that I'm wanting to look at this outside of makes it different and where I'm like unsure from my other Toga decks is I'm selling out hard for the ranged weapon package. To like get maximum storm of arrow advantage, like that's why I'm playing like nimble maneuver. It's why I'm playing flaming arrow over gouging needle, needle, even though gouging needle is like a very similar card, but it's off zone and other stuff. Um, the only two non range, well, three are deception dagger, piercing needle, and dual needle lunge. Dual needle lunge clearing itself, so it doesn't really it pays for the echo cost its own way with its minus three. But I want to know if you think. I want to get another an outside opinion on it. If you think that the ranged weapon is worth selling out for, or if I'm better off just playing like traditional, like the good life weapon cards, like the better value. <clears throat> okay. Well, here's my thing about your Toga deck is I think you should be playing more copies of Storm of Arrows. I don't see a reason why this isn't a four of in your Toga deck. It was just a tax size. I was trying to get it three for a little bit, uh, but it being at four would be an easy change to make. My, because of how Storm of Arrows works, your opponent has to block every Storm of Arrows or the, it gets swung at them twice. Uh -huh. Because of how it works. You play, every time that you, ever once per turn when you hit with Storm of Arrows, you get to echo it because of the timing of how Toga works. I Storm of Arrows, it hits, I respond to Toga, I put it in, the attack resolves, I'm allowed to now respond to Echo. So, turning one Storm of Arrows into two Storm of Arrows just makes sense to me. Whether it be on turn two or on, on whatever. This is just, this is a four high for five, four high for five. Each of them has stun one. Um, mm -hmm. it, it's just, it's just actually too good. Especially because, like, the other momentum payouts that we have are things like Piercing Needle, which, like, my opponent doesn't block with the storm of arrows at all i toss in piercing needle i flip and burn them for two <laughs> i then just respond and instantly echo it using the momentum from storm of arrows mm -hmm. like using the momentum and that i got from toga as opposed yeah, to instantly. selling out for the ranged weapon um i don't think that you need to sell out that hard with things like nimble maneuver i think mm -hmm. flaming arrow is a good card it is powerful three i don't think that you need nimble maneuver maneuver even though it's an ex card I, I don't i don't care about it i just want to put storm of arrows up to a four of and then figure out what to do about everything else this has Would to be you weapon, still right? stick with the uh, flaming arrow over uh gouging needle yeah because it does it say loses, it ranged weapon 
we and it's figure. also I figured that the offset wasn't crazy enough. Yeah, the the other thing that you could do would be like you could run this at a two of and put gouging at a one of, right? But like just having yeah. the option of like I you you the when do you ever want to go flaming arrow into storm of arrows? What's that? When do you ever want to go flaming arrow into storm of arrows? If I'm just if I don't have a, if I don't think it's gonna hit and I'm desperate for the echo, it's probably sure. like the only situation. And so that forces this to be on a six, for right? The first one, for yeah. the first one, which really stinks. Mm -hmm. Um, I have to click the life. Um, I spell. Uh, I think this card's very good, but it's more reasons for them to do it. Any reason not to play the one of inevitable clash? Not at all. That's what I was. At. So I had a second list that I. I tried going with the idea. Of I am. You are cutting out pretty hard. Attack weapon, rushing stab, needle stab. Oh, he left. That's okay. Um, testing, testing this card one, two, A. Three. What up, buddy? Yep. Uh, I had another list though where I was already not selling out as hard on range weapons, and I was playing uh, <clears> two of it just because that's what I played in my to my last Toga three deck before like Critical Role and UU came out. Mm-hmm. I just because I just love the card in Toga. It's so good. It's just your first move. It also gets a moment to mount to instantly snag back with Toga. If it was like a piercing needle or uh, deception dagger. Okay. Uh, why are we not running for dueling lunch? Um, I was coming off of it just before. Like I said, it was also from the Toga three games and matches I played. I was just coming off of it more and more. It's not bad. I just felt that I didn't need the guaranteed momentum. The only thing it was being played for was just for the fact that it's the uh, easy stun one weapon that if I check a five on, it's just like a free move. Yeah. But uh, I, I was just easing it back in, so I haven't really changed the ratio since putting I it back. would rather play three of this, two of this, if you are determined to keep this low block in. The other option is, is you could just thinking, play yeah. the four dual needle and just kill the nimble maneuvers all together no. and then you have a play of i go dual needle lunge into storm of arrows storm of arrows uh multiple no matter what right as yeah. like that idea sure. um so the cards that i put in your deck accidentally is i, I went in and just put in the inevitable clash neck gun surprising mm -hmm. cannon blast i put all of these in um mm -hmm. i think all of these are totally fine especially things like cannon blast is like just your opener it's like hey hey this is a Right, seven high for seven that only gets bigger. Um, yeah. Even if it's just a one of, um, but it doesn't necessarily have to I'm be in try there. One of cannon blast. Uh, neck gun uh, surprise that... is just another mm -hmm. uh, stun, stun two three. move. It's stun three in your character, um, and it also is card pool trick. So you block with it, and then they play a move. You just remove it, and like, hey, I get to block this one for free. Yeah. And then no, I'm, inevitable I'm clash already now. Yeah, I was playing them in Vex. I can I'm not, I'm not put them in Toga, but um, yeah, it just depends on like like how bad too. do you they do have range weapon, and that's like the that's like the big thing. Is there like they're like four diffs yeah. that 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 do that thing? Um, I like the idea. Yeah. Um, the other idea is like it could just exist in the sideboard, and so we could just like not worry about this one. And then the question is is it the is is inevitable clash better than cannon blast my answer is probably no because it's a six diff versus a five diff although the stats are technically True, better it's great yeah the stats are like it's, if you have a momentum two to pick up and draw the like an attack the stats yeah. are like an eight high for elf with stun one yeah uh and so probably just and it's a zero mid block so cannon blast just like leaves yeah so now yeah. we're back down to I 22. So we've got the one of gouging needle, this. We should keep the storm of arrows in at the four of there's no reason not to. Like this is all fine. This is all great yeah. and dandy. If this is number is still too you. high, the I mean the thing on the chopping block is either inevitable clash or, or gouging needle. Either of these. Um, um on to on. actions assets. Uh, action asset life. 
Um, interdimensional plants is not bad because of how much momentum you get. Saying powerful three on all of your moves is not is not bad. I, um, I don't know ones. how much that you. I don't know how much you love that idea. Um, it's it's a, it's okay. I've tr I tried it very limited, and it didn't ever feel bad. But I felt like I was. Battle for the Future is also not terrible. If you hit somebody one time, you instantly turn this card on as long as you're down to, to cool the jets. Uh, but I've, So I've put both those in the sideboard. <clears throat> He's gone again, ladies and gentlemen. He's out. Hey, sorry. Oh, hello. Welcome There's back. Passing over, so my satellite is not great right now. You're good, buddy. Um, I really like Duth Deadly Ruthfulness in a lot of these decks. I'll just like make more yeah. checks. I like Immortal Shapeshifter in a lot of these decks, although the Toga attack is just better. Um, the, the de yeah. death, maneuvers. Uh, death maneuvers is just a better version of it, although gaining health is like pretty rad. Still just looking. Urmeshi's Perseverance turns you into Jester a little bit. Genkai's training is not mm -hmm. terrible. Um, just because like there's a lot of things that share too, right? Like turning yeah. this into... You share two symbols, right? Death Life? Yeah, Death Life. This is a zero mid block now. Or zero low block. That seems pretty good. Yeah, that's um, pretty popular. The issue I was noticing with the deck constantly is it's just, especially with life, this is just life in general. There are so many like high, good high block foundations that you just feel like you have to play and the, your high blocks get really inflated really quick. Sure. I mean, the answer is just like you turn some of them into, you just, you reduce the numbers, right? Like definitely yeah, maybe definitely it's not a three of, it's do. a two of, right? Or, or vice versa. Yeah. Um. Fast strength is not in your deck. It would probably be in the sideboard. I just haven't put a sideboard together. I usually been putting two fast strengths in my life sideboards. Practical studies. Just trying to get some of that blood pressure. Nitro you know, we have a better version of it. Mm -hmm. uh, reuse training agency is not a bad idea. Lost in thoughts. You're gonna want Baba Pussycats in your deck somewhere. Yeah. Floating? On the turn, you're just trying to I kill them, been... plus one damage is good. Okay, on the turn, I'm trying to kill them. Yeah, that's. Childhood that's friends? One, two, three. So this is three cards that burn them, as well as you just get to pick a card up. So like if they have full block deception dagger, you just get to pick it up and play it again on the next turn. But Okay. <coughs> so what I've done is I have made um I just grabbed some grab some uh cards and we get to just talk about it. Right. Um, I don't think you need two face shield in the deck. I think you main one side too. Um, okay. New training method. Talk to me about that guy. I'm just a simp for new training method and really like the card. Okay. That's it's, fair. It's a comfort foundation for me. But it's take, also it's a four check, which I don't like. Take the gloves off. Uh... On your like second or third attack, it's basically just flip a rival foundation. Sure. And it's a low block. What's this number gotta be at? Sixty-four to sixty-five, preferably. Sixty-four, sixty-five. Okay. Um. 
any less than that would be awesome, but cuts have been really hard. <laughs> Finally awake gets to go down to a one of you just kill new training method and it's f and live with it. Yeah. Um, yeah. you could take dark tournament loons, drop it down to a one of because we put in a, an attack version of that. True. True. Um. And if you wanted it that bad, you'd play the attack that did four damage. Uh, it was a four damage version of it. This is now sixty one. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if you want more attacks, less attacks, just because we've got 22. But there's not a lot of draw power. The main, quote, there draw is. power you have is just Storm of Arrows. Yeah. It's like Dangerous the, Combatant, and is... that's it. Yeah. You have to crawl up orange. I, I'm yeah. okay with 22. I usually, I've been usually playing high attack numbers in the Toga decks. It's that and one copy of this now? Mm-hmm. Um... I think taking these things like interdimensional plants and putting it at a one of, taking things like vast strength at a one of, uh, Riku's training agency at a one of, lost in thought at a one of, and just like toss in a couple of these cheeky one ofs. It's back to 65. You said you put this in your sideboards. We can do that anyways. Put it zero. And just taking and doing this and being like, these are the cards that you get to take out very easily um, for your sideboard for stuff is kind of neat. Um, and yeah. it does not mess your ratios up at all. Which is even more awesome. Yeah. Cool. Final thoughts? I, I like it. It's like a, it's like, it's what I was hoping, which is like a combination of the other list I was talking about that wasn't as focused in this one, which I do like. I'm excited Hell to try yeah. it out. Hell yeah. yeah. Swear Tam, I'm going to turn you into a Toga 3 expert by the end of UVFs. <laughs> well, one of us has to be. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's twice now. I'm sorry, man. Hey, you did deserve that. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, put someone else in front of me in line, too. Like, I've just been attacked. Uh, I yeah, put that person in front of you in line because... Uh, 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 I, no, it's yeah. all good. I know them, too. And it was it's, it was completely fine. Anywho. Anywho. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. I, I think that this, this is going to change the, the character a lot of Storm of Arrows. Um, I was so happy they gave us more Echo Tech. It's what I've been asking for since we got to 3. <laughs> yeah. Besides... Uh, one spinner attack, but I don't think that's on any of her symbols. Nope. Death, chaos, yeah, no. Mm -mm. So, I'm 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 a hyped for it. Plus, it's yeah, I'm already gonna need four of them for gesture and stuff. So I wanted wanted to try it with the other girl too. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Thanks for the deck talk as always, Sam. All right, we'll see you, dude. Peace. Yeah.